إلهي لا تعذبني فإني مقر بالذي قد كان مني فما لي حيلة إلا رجاء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you which is how do we treat our parents and that is a similar thing that you be treated the way you treat your parents so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given you this order and says وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا Allah has decreed that do not worship anything else except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And وَبِلْ وَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be good to the parents in terms of advising them, in terms of the way you treat them. And we should not take the way the non-Muslims treat their parents. They thrown them out and then throw them into where? Into shelter houses. And that is not the sunnah and that is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his way. وَلَن تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا وَلَن تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا You will not find in any change the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should treat our parents the correct way, especially when they reach at the age of old and they're weak. We should treat them in a manner that is Islamically way, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy for it. We Muslims are ordered to show kindness and to show respect and mercy to our parents. And that is what Islam is teaching us. And we should look always what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Holy Quran. So, are we doing the same? Are we doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us or we have neglected? So, some of us and some of the Muslims have neglected their parents and became same way as the kuffar would treat their parents. And when it comes where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ Now, maybe when you were young, you would take this position. But when you reach at the age of 30 and 40 and above, it's called ignoring them. That is the position that will take the person that who does not follow the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So he will not take that way. He will take above that. He will not call them. He will not speak to them. He will not associate with them because he has reached an age that he wants to neglect, neglect them and throw them out of the door. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the order. That we should treat our parents and call them and take care of them, especially when they reach at the age of old. And that's where you find the weaknesses. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said many a hadith that how we should treat our parents, what we should take positions. And remember one of the famous hadith was that the Jannah is under the feet of your mother. So that means we have to look forward. We have to look into what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us and what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is telling us because this is what we want. We want to go to Jannah, isn't it? But this is the following things that we have to do. So, as the Jannah is under the feet of your mother, 
So you have to treat them with kindness. Not ignore them. Not neglect them. But we have neglected them. We Muslims, we have neglected our parents. We either left them in back home and we here sleep in a big house where they don't even have a proper bed to sleep on. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is what I'm delivering to you. Is that to follow the way exactly of the Sunnah and to follow the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتُ أُمُّهُ كُرْهًا حَمَلَتُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرِ So after you are grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, after you thankful Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then comes to the parents. Look how Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala first talked about His worship. Then he made so important the second thing he said, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا Then he comes parents. Because of what they take, what they did for you when you were in the young age. Imagine, when you were young, you were three or four years old, if your parents will neglect you and tell you, I'm not giving you any milk, or I'm not doing for you anything. But now you have reached this age. You have reached this age that we should look forward to them. We know in Canada, in North America, when the child reached at the age of 18, he says that, no, that's it, I'm going out, I'm making my own things, I'm making my own things. Or the parents will tell him now, you're 18, you, are, you can make your decision, you can get out of the house. And then that's where the neglection comes. That's where we start the neglect. So, my dear brothers and sisters, what I would deliver to you clearly is that all Muslims are commanded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses all the Muslims to honor their parents. وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍ وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍ وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا And when it comes to advice, when it comes to a talking, to speak to them in a kindness, in a language which is soft, a language that it is not hurtful, although even they might not be following the Islamic religion. Even if they are non-Muslims, there is a way and a manner to treat them and to speak to them. Even if you look at the example of our beloved Prophet, <coughs> if you look at the example of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, where he says, Ya abati lima ta'abudu ma la yasma' wa la yubusir. Look at the words he used. Look at the words he puts in towards his father. He did not use in a way to say that or disbeliever because he still have hope. We still have hope until now if your parents have neglected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If they don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they totally neglected, we still have hope until we put them to the grave. So my dear brothers and sisters, whether it's a non-Muslim or whether it's a practicing Muslim, we still have, it's in a commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to treat them well, to speak to them well in a soft language. In a soft language. So, my advice and the, the clear of the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. <coughs> It's nothing that I can include into this if the ayats are there for us and clear and the hadith. So let us fix ourselves. Let us fix what we have done and let us look back and go back to our parents and treat them well. Now, as we know that the woman, her, Duty is that to look after her 
husband and her family first. Because her husband is the only one who is her protector, provider, and a helper at all the times. So, the woman, her responsibility first is her husband and her house. Now, the com it comes to the men. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him all these responsibilities. So the man, his duty is that also to look after his parents, not to put them in a shelter house, not to go and greet them, to neglect them. And when it comes to the times of help, we totally abandon them. So my message to you today is straight from the Quran and straight from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَمَن يُطْعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَاسِ So, whoever obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, he has indeed have a victory towards that. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the understanding this. وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ so my dear brothers and sisters, after I have delivered this message to you, look forward and start from this minute calling your parents, whether they are in here or whether they are in overseas, wherever they are. And if they, are, if they died, keep in mind at all the time that your dua. And that is what they left behind. You are one of them that they left behind. And also do not forget your forefathers. They also have rights upon you. Because your father and his father, they're the ones who are giving them the understanding of the deen. They're the ones who have also suffered towards Islam. They are also the ones who have died for Islam. So don't forget your dua towards all of them. So my dear brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first to give me the understanding myself and to you. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and to guide us to the right path. <laughs> فكم من زلة لي في الخفايا وأن